What is going on? Charles Botenston here. We're going to be actually going over exactly the time that everything changed. Okay. So it's been a while since I've actually uploaded a video and I was actually thinking back. I'm like, we're about 10 years into it, a little over 10 years, actually 10 and a half years into personal development, obviously picking up my first book. If you've seen any of my videos and I kind of just want to revisit the actual moment. I don't think I've ever talked about this. The actual moment where I was so embarrassed and I went, my entire life of just thinking I was just in the dur state. So obviously at that time there was no Instagram. Facebook was kind of popular, but not really. There was YouTube wasn't really that popular streaming videos, all these things that happened in the last 10 years. When I went to school, I graduated in 2007. None of that was actually that popular. You know, I think the iPhone came out around 2007, 2008. And at that time it was nothing compared to what it is right now. So I went through college, obviously in a totally different mindset in a totally different time period where it came to education, to opportunities, to figuring out where you are in life and obviously escapism and things like that. So I had the, probably the last decade before people started saying, okay, you know what? Obviously we're not going to drink as much. We're not going to party as much because it's all going to be on video and film and pictures and all this other jazz is going to be on social media. You're going to make barstool sports. So this is the exact moment. I went through college, played rugby for three and a half years. Then I hurt my hand. Then I hurt my knee. I got a couple of concussions in that. So, you know, I, I didn't play my, my last semester senior year. I was still on the team kind of like support and moral support and things like that. And I was in a fraternity, so I was just partying up and I was just trying to graduate. And I did not pay attention to anything at all during my first three years. I was a total mess. I was just really taking advantage of college to say the least. That's the easiest way to put it lightly. There were some entrepreneurial spirits, you know, that were going through my mind. Like, you know, I had a pay-per-click website, you know, go Google that, it's PPC kind of website. I also sold things on eBay, kind of like what Gary Vaynerchuk was talking about. You know, I worked at a marketing firm, I was at an engineering firm and things like that. The thing was, I wasn't actually uh, paying attention to school at all. You know, the classes I needed to take, I was failing statistics one and I needed to be in stats two by the time that I started graduate or was looking to graduate. And the realization that I was not going to be graduating on time hit me, except my parents didn't know that, except nobody knew that actually, nobody, none of my friends. I was the only one that knew that I was not going to be graduating on time. And the thing is what they do at your college where I went to school in Pennsylvania is that you can walk. In other words, you graduate in the spring when you're supposed to graduate. So you just walk, you just don't get your diploma because they say, listen, if you're going to be coming back, there's no point in coming back kind of as a senior, a super senior and graduating in the winter, you know, graduating in the spring, they do this whole rollout and things like that. In the winter, they kind of just give you a diploma and send you on your way. So in the spring, it comes around and I had to take a summer course. I actually had to take two summer courses, then a third summer course right after that. And then I had to come back in the fall. And I somehow shenagled my way to be living in New York City, working at Oppenheimer Funds, even though I didn't graduate school and doing a semester away. In other words, I just had to hand in a final paper and I don't even know how I got through that. I think just sheer influence and will. I convinced our Dean of business to do that. I, you know, God bless her heart. So this is the exact moment I set that up for this. Obviously graduation's rolling around, family's coming down, my brother, his wife, his kid, my sister, my parents, they're all traveling to York. It's four hours from New York. My brother's in Westchester, my sister's in LA, and they're all coming down for graduation. And I did not tell them that I was actually not graduating with a diploma. And I remember the exact moment. So right before I get up there, and it was a beautiful day. And it's kind of one of those things that you just, you think about now and you're like, you are a prick for doing this. And right before that, my brother just got married. Actually, I don't think he had a kid. I don't think he, no, he didn't have a kid. It was just him and his wife. And they were recently married. So right before I put on my gown and I'm about to go and start, you know, doing the procession, I tell my family, oh, by the way, today I'm not actually graduating. I'm actually walking. I'm not actually getting my diploma. And I remember my brother, you know, his face was like, what do you mean? Why did we come down here? That why did we come down here really hit me. And I remember thinking, you're right. Why did you come down here? You know, like, why am I just walking? And I, I remember just going through it. And then there was obviously a graduation party. My family was there and then they left halfway through. And it stuck with me so much that that moment I said, all right, something needs to change. 
And then from that moment, and it was funny because that thought and that, that memory has been suppressed for quite some time. And I think it was about two weeks ago that that came up. Like, what made me start on the journey? Yes, I didn't read any books. Yes, there was family, friends, and my friends, parents, they all were like, this guy's not gonna go anywhere and things like that. Uh, but that exact moment when my brother said, why did we actually travel here? Why did we actually come down here? Why did you not tell us that you're just walking right before you're actually going to walk and not get your diploma? Why are you telling us this? That hit me. That hit me. You know, it's kind of one of those things that, you know, God, my, God bless my parents. I put them through a lot. Uh, my brother put them through a lot, you know, just spending money and, you know, college tuition. Yes, I was working. Yes, I had money saved up. Yes, they were tapping into that because we needed to. You know, college was expensive. York, you know, obviously is not up there at NYU and Columbia and a bunch of the other schools that are charging sixty dollars to $100,000. We were way below that. Uh, but that was the actual moment. And then from that moment, when I walked, I worked at a diner, the West York Diner off I-85 in Pennsylvania, in York, Pennsylvania. I had to take, I had to walk to the bus stop, which was about one and a half, two mile walk, then get on a bus, and then it would drop me off 45 minutes before work because it, it didn't run at many times. And during that time is really when my, my life flipped upside down. And I'm gonna put out a video about boredom and the importance of boredom. Because during that time, I was reading and I was thinking, and I was saying that I don't want, ever want this insecurity to ever tap into me again. That insecurity of you're not gonna be anything, that insecurity of you're too dumb, you're, you're not smart enough to actually make money or to be successful or to start your own business. So I know you may, may not have that moment in your life. And this is the thing is that as life becomes easier, those moments are, are gonna become way less you know, where you, you just are thrusted into a situation because so many people are padding that situation, whether it's money, whether it's connections, where they say, listen, I know you didn't really graduate, but we don't want you to feel bad. The actual act of making me feel bad, feeling like shit, that you're, why did we even fucking come down and watch you walk across the stage? Why did we do that? That feeling was necessary for me to take action. And if you take that feeling away, people, they're, they just they just live life. And then, as they say, you just live a life of quiet desperation, where you're just desperate and you're just living and it's quiet and you're not telling anyone because you don't want to tell anyone. You're putting out all these, these vibes that everything is beautiful and positive and everything else, and that's exactly what I was doing until I told my parents and my brother and everyone else that, by the way, I'm not graduating today. And that exact feeling of feeling like I let them down was the feeling that made me take action. And then from there, that's when I bought Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway, and then obviously had to win friends and influence people, and then from that moment, I just became obsessed. I became obsessed. And I became ex obsessed with actually improving myself through not only education that I wanted to do, but improving myself in, in areas that I needed to improve. It was first mindset. Then it was how to make money, how to actually market, how to actually sell, how to influence, how to manage. Then I started getting into deeper subjects like health and wealth and building that up. So I implore you guys to, I know I'm gonna make a video about this on the importance of boredom. There was a video that was put out by Veritasum, I think is the, the YouTube channel, and it, the video is incredible. And it really started getting me to think about the importance of boredom because two weekends ago, I won't get into it, but two weekends ago, um, I had no stimulation, in other words, no headphones, no book, no nothing, traveling up. And I just, you have this innate feeling when you could be doing better than you're actually doing. And that feeling only comes in when you're focusing on nothing but your thoughts. Nothing but your thoughts. And I'm gonna make a video about that. So. Leave your comments below. Maybe you uh, went through a similar experience where you just said enough is enough, whether that, you know, health-wise, whether that's wealth-wise, you know, health, you know, your doctor said something, wealth where, you know, something happened where you owed money, you had debt, or, you know, you owed the IRS money or whatever the case is, and you just said, I need to handle this. Or relationships where, you know, this girl broke up with you and you just said, you know what, I'm gonna handle this whole relationship thing. So, highly recommend that you guys not only subscribe to the video, we're gonna be producing a lot better content. We're gonna bring on a video editor. We're just gonna get 1% better in that case. So, if you guys have any questions, leave in the comments below. And obviously, uh, we're not gonna be going live, but we're gonna be doing these, these videos uh, more often where it's just right to the point. I know this was a little bit longer. We're looking at 10 minutes.
However, highly recommend that you guys give me the topics that you want me to cover because that's the only way that uh, the, the channel is going to grow. Have an amazing day.